Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm I'm getting over being sick. I'm I've been sick for yeah, about can, twelve days. Yeah, I can tell your uh, voice is kind of, you know, I can tell you're sick. I know. <laughs> I'm I'm at the end of it, luckily, but I'm still I still can't breathe right. It's just it's lingering. Yeah. Thanks a lot for making the time. You know, uh, you're sick and you still made it. So thanks a lot. I know. I I know we've had trouble with our schedules. Are you at work right now, or are you working from home? You can talk today for an hour. Yeah, I can talk to. I'm actually working from home today, so um, so yeah, I, sh I should be okay. But uh, I can talk for an hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Both. All right. Let's get started here. Basically, first of all, you were doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> which I yeah. was like email after email after email and in the room I mean I think at one point you had quadrupled your account or even more than that I mean yeah was that yeah. when was that that was like right after the class well, right? That was right after the class yeah. and I think it was a perfect time because um, <laughs> it was right after earnings um mm -hmm. it was right after earnings and uh, I don't know, I was just focused and, you know, I was just doing everything right, I guess. <laughs> okay, so then first uh, first things first, you can just acknowledge that you can do everything right. Just Can you just acknowledge that? Yeah, sure. But my problem is like, yeah, but the, the problem is like, I don't know how to stop. That's <laughs> but I mean, at that point, whatever that point was, the one month after the class, the two months after the class, whatever that period was when you quadrupled your account, you know, that period was no different than any other period in the market, but you, okay, were focused and you did it. So you 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 weren't you weren't you weren't pushing yourself at that during that period. So you, you just got to get back to where you were at that point. Do you know what I'm saying? Whatever we'll talk today about whatever bad habits now that you've created, but I'm saying I you need to go into your head and just acknowledge that a you can do it and b it wasn't even that long ago. So it's not like, oh my god, that was 5 years ago and I'll never remember what I was thinking in that period of my life. It was just last year last summer or whenever it was, you know what I mean? So when did, when, what was the beginning where things started to turn around for you? You wanted to risk more money or what happened? Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, I've been looking at my account. For, I mean, the main problem I remember is, uh, so, so, you know, right off that time, like you said, I was doing well and, you know, like for a month or so, you know, like I said, I almost quadrupled my account, which is great. And, great. you know, every week I was making what I make at work pro almost like in a week, right? With trading. Okay. So I thought that was amazing. Um, it was amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. And I was thinking my, to quit my job, you know. <laughs> okay. So then, then, then what happened after that? Like, why yeah, weren't so you? I think I started getting very disappointed with the market. Nothing else but the market. The thing is, okay, during that time it was, um, you know, earnings and uh, not only earnings, but I don't know, the market was, uh, I guess we had a lot of shorts in. So that time, especially earnings, I was doing a great, great. And August, it was a, actually, I know that it was around end of August. Um, so August was great months, uh, July and August, and then when September, came, yeah, end of August, around end of August, you know how traders, uh, I think they start going to vacations and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. Start going to, so the volume was really, I think, low in the market, and around September there was almost nothing. And actually, you know, you even close the the room because there was just. Yeah, I think it was around, yeah, I'm sure it was closed, but it was closed for a while, right? Um, so around September area, it was just slow in the market and you didn't even, you also say that I think you, you know, you kind of closed for a couple of weeks, or something like that. That's when I started, I'm like, okay, I started pushing it saying, you know, okay, okay I want to keep that momentum going. So. That's when I think I started having problems is like when I don't see opportunities, I keep, I still keep doing it. And the market was very wild uh, for some reason. It's just, it doesn't behave as where you were really used to, I guess. Uh, it was kind of, uh, not as like, uh, when there, I mean, the less volume it is, the more volatile, right? So, 
But I mean, I don't understand. Like, were you seeing less gaps, or what? What? What were in in August or September? You were seeing less quality gaps. Yeah, and no, no, around September, less. So. <coughs> I have to say, it almost took me a couple of weeks because I mean, a couple of weeks or more. Um, you know, and then I'll, I'll get angry, and then like, <laughs> you know, say, I think it's just uh, since the whole September was just bad, bad, bad. Um, you know, like, I don't know. It's just, uh, I think, I need more discipline. Is what I'm understanding from. But you had it back at that point. You had it at the yeah, point. For so six, the thing yeah. is, like, I'm, I'm great when like, I'm with you, and like, you know, and then we're rating and like doing it together. I right. Think that. Like, and then especially the discipline, like you, because usually when you don't see quality thing, you say, okay, there's nothing in the market, you know, have a good day, right? Right. So that is what I like. I mean, that's what one thing actually I really appreciate from you and the room is, you know, when you don't see something, you know, like, uh, I don't have that discipline. Like, that's what the But problem. if I say don't do anything, are you still trying to well, do something the, or like what? Like, usually when you, do, when you say that, if you were in the room and then like say that, I don't do anything, but if the room is closed or if somehow I'm not, I didn't get your opinion, I think, if, you know, you might do it or something and then I do it. You know what I'm trying to say? No. If I don't do anything, do you trade or not? I don't. I don't. Okay. But, uh, but if the room is closed, for example, in September, you said uh, there's nothing in the market. I mean, um, it's going to be slow. Right, you around Labor Day. Around Labor Day, it was slow. Yeah, exactly. Around right. Labor Day. Yeah, it was, I think it closed for, yeah, it was closed for three weeks or something. That was a, yeah, you said, you know, don't, if you trade, very be care, care, careful, things like that, but. Well, we, I don't know, I don't know how many days it was closed, but I've never been closed for three weeks. We closed over the, the holiday here, but it was closed, it was probably, maybe I was closed for like a week and a half. Or two weeks or something over Labor Day, my yeah, birthday. I don't feel, yeah, yeah. I don't feel yeah. But even still, it's okay to take a break. I mean, if you know that you can't be disciplined without me, then the times that I'm off, then don't trade. Like the week between Christmas and New Year, you know what I mean? Things like that. Let, then don't trade. The times, I mean, then then don't trade. I mean, you're still. I mean, you haven't even been doing this since. It's not even been a year since you did the class. So, I mean, it's, there's, there's no reason for you to push yourself, you know what I mean, to trade without me if you don't feel like confident enough that you can be disciplined, disciplined not to do it. Anyways, bottom line is, once we got back and going, whatever that was, earnings season, third quarter in the fall, what happened then? You just didn't want to trade or you just after, after September, you just kind of gave up or what? Yeah, so after September, you know, I did. <laughs> Yeah, I was very disappointed and everything, so I was like, okay, I didn't trade at all for a while. Yeah, and then the next the earnings, yeah, I started trading a while, you know, a little bit, uh, but not not a, as much a size as I usually do, very small sizes. Um, and, you know, so I didn't, you know, it wasn't as great as I, the other, you know, the previous earnings either, so, you know, so I, yeah, that that earnings season I didn't trade like a lot at all. Um, yeah, and then no, of course there's work. So kind of um, I started having, uh, especially the last four months, I was just uh, especially since oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, last four months. Uh, in the morning I have a early morning. I have like a mid like meeting I have to do. So I, I couldn't trade the, the open at all. So I couldn't get into your room even. So that made it very difficult because, you know, I do well when I'm, you know, like from what I understand, when I, I do well when I'm like following everything you say basically, or because I get the discipline from you basically. Uh, well, other than, so then what were well, these meetings that you're in right now, how long are these, this, this, Schedule gonna well, that last one week. is over. I mean, basically, uh, <coughs> we're in this uh, project, so uh, we're done with that. So right now, from now on, I can I can actually trade in the morning, but probably. Okay, I mean, so, so yeah. 
All right. So yeah, you... it, was just, it was just uh, unfortunate because I was trying to recover from the the earnings season, you know, from the previous mistakes, and then I couldn't get into the trading room because of the. Well, that's okay. The... That's all right. Sometimes things things happen. You know, you've got a job still, so you have to you have to be aware of that. Um, yeah. As far as all right, so say so you want to get back started. You're gonna, are you going to get back started next week? I mean, what's your plan? Are you still scared to tr go back now or what? <clears throat> yeah, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of scared to still. <laughs> I think if the shock hasn't left, left, uh, you know, yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm planning. I'm I'm hoping to take like a, some serious break, but um, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, I don't know. At, at this moment, I haven't like actually really thought about is it, what is, you know, is it worth it to trade again or like soon, what I'm, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, so I kind of, and also work, uh, it's kind of busy too, so I don't know. Um, well, what can I, what can I help you with? I mean, if you come back to the room, obviously you're a member of the room, if you come back to the room and you start listening to me, do you think yeah. you still wouldn't go back to where you were before when you were doing well? Are you still afraid that you that you won't do well? Or I mean, if you just you just said, well, if I listen to you, I'm fine. What are you worried about? You're not going to listen to me, or what? <laughs> the, I mean that. Not only that, but uh, uh, not afraid of that, but I'm more afraid of like going back into that angry mode like if i end up like a, some kind of loss and then say oh how can i make it up you know well what's wrong if you just only give yourself one trade a day and i'm not saying that it's you know that's something that you have to do but i'm saying say you give yourself one trade a day whether mm. it, it wins or loses what would be the worst case scenario with that you go with my pick in the morning Sometimes I do a retake if the first trade fails, but what if you wouldn't? What if you just said, you know what, I'm just going to do one trade a day, so mm. I know that I don't go out of control no matter what. What would be wrong with that? Yeah, uh, that's actually a good idea. So that's one thing. Another thing is actually like morning trips have become difficult for me, I guess. Is that for some reason, like, I feel like, I mean, the afternoon trades are easier. I don't know. Do you think that's a... Well, not for me, but give me an example. Let's look at a stock here. I mean, this is why we're looking at this. So let's, look, let's look at something. I, I mean... Yeah, so actually I look at this. It's, yeah, this is the SPU, right? I'm look, I was looking at it yesterday. Okay. So this one, um, you know, like, for example, like this is a one minute, is that right? This is a one minute chart, yeah. Yeah, so the second bar... Uh, I would probably enter in the second bar, right? Okay. And where did you uh, put the stop? I put the stop above five of the day, right? So around, I, I can't see the numbers, but um, above the green bar. I just want to look here at the volume in this pre-market. Did this have enough volume in the pre-market? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think, uh, um, I don't Is know if they did this. I didn't trade at all, but I was in the room. I believe uh, Jer Gerard did this Yeah, Gerard well. called it and he said he called it stopped out, but I'm looking at this here now. This to me doesn't look yeah. like it had enough volume in the pre-market. Yeah, I believe, but here, I think it was rated 18 and I'm not 100% for sure, but I think they probably have done it. I, I don't remember. This to me, this to me looks like the open. Look at the difference of the volume here. I'm just going to show you something here. Look at this. Volume at 930 is what? See, that doesn't look right to me. I don't think this didn't yeah. open at 930. See the volume, the square up at the yeah. top? Then see yeah. the volume in this guy here. This is a little bit better. This looks like the open. See the difference of the volume? I don't think this bar here open. I think this SVU open late, which sometimes happens with stocks in this index. And it is hard. It is hard yeah. sometimes to see that. The lack of yeah. volume in the pre-market would have helped you know that. He obviously missed it too. He said he took a stop. But you can't fault anyone for taking a stop in that because it was tricky. Lack of volume in the pre-market. This is a heavily volume traded stock, but that open late. To me, this is the open of the stock I can tell by yeah. the tail. So if you took this here and put this stop over it, you would have gotten stopped out. Hopefully then though you would have noticed, oh crap, and you would have taken it here and see you would have more than made up the difference of the loss. 
And then this is a really nice move in here into 945 into 10. I mean, that, even if you stopped here and said, oh, you had to do, but do, and got, mm. and got worried about it, when this dropped down in here and rallied back in here, boom, this is perfect. And then it fell. I don't know where he called the second trade, but I know he did. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, even in the afternoon. Yeah, I think in the afternoon it was clear to me that, you know, this is going to go down. I yeah, mean, but I mean, in the afternoon, you have to sit here and wait. This may or may not happen. Now, the fact is it did, but this may not have happened. So do you know what I mean? Like this, you read the gap, so, you see it happening. Yeah. This may or may not happen every day in good gaps. In the fact, this did happen yesterday, but the market, I got to be honest with you, helped this afternoon move too. The market mm -hmm. helped this. Look at the, mm -hmm. Let's look at the spy. Anyways, you can play afternoon trades, but I'm telling you, you're not going to get them every day. You're not going to get them every day in good gaps, and you're going to miss a large chunk of the move. Although sometimes you will have things like that yesterday where you take a stop in something. But you could have taken the trade at 945. You could have not been aggressive, waited, done the second setup in the morning. Did you not see that 945 entry? Yeah, they... Uh... <laughs> That one, I didn't say that actually yesterday, but I, oh, are you, you're talking about the SVU, right? I'm talking about SVU. I just wanted to see here what the time where the market is. Yeah, the market was just weak yesterday. Anyways, mm -hmm. going back to this. Yeah, so, I'm saying, did you see this? Yes or no? This. Boom. Yeah, that one, I, I, I saw that actually. So that's the thing. I think I have a very hard time doing the first minute entries, like uh, second minute entry, I'm sorry. Um, so you have a hard time doing the second entry in the one minute, or what are you saying? Yeah, because it's just so <laughs> fast. Uh, I, I feel like I mean, uh, the 945 entry was I could I would do that because the reason is, um, I see confirmation, right? Like, uh, um, you know, what I'm trying to say, like, you know, it, it sold off and it tried to rally back, it couldn't. So I see it right there. That's right. So then that's okay. So then you can do the morning entry. It's the secondary entry. If you really are uncomfortable being aggressive in the first five minutes of the day, then you don't you don't have to be. There's no rule against that, but you can still play out the morning. If a secondary setup sets up at 9.45, at 10 o'clock, at 10.15, I'd rather see you do that than play in the afternoon because you don't get those trades all the time. The stops are bigger, and most of the time you miss most of the move. No matter what, even though this was very clear to see, and even though it happened, look at this chart. This is what happened in the morning. High in here is 1925. Low in here in the morning is what? 1666. So that's basically a $2.75 move. The move I made in the afternoon is what? High in here is 1715. Low in here is not even a buck. So you got to capture this somewhere. This is where you want to be. Not in this. Boom. I mean, it's fine if you do this, if you if you completely missed this gap or took a stop in the morning and then never did the second one and whatever, but this, you're going to miss out if you don't play this morning stuff. Yeah, I think, but, but, <laughs> like, but this is more of a confirmation, right? I guess I'm more, more uh, I'd rather uh, miss the move than like get into uh, that kind of entry. It could also rally back quickly, right? Like when, uh, you know, in the first minute or second minute. Sure, that's what I'm saying. Do a morning entry, but do a later one if you want. Do it on the five. Yeah, do it on the two. I think, yeah. You know. I think I'm more comfortable <laughs> with that one. I, I can, I can, um, yeah. That's what I learned from myself is um, the first injury. When I follow you, it's fine. But if I do it myself, um, I, I, I just can't do the, f uh, I think it's just too, of an I, I like to see confirmation for like like this is a good example just right 9 45 i can see yeah try to run back it can it can it can so i'm like okay it cannot go back up so <laughs> you know my logic is okay <laughs> all right so then you're fine you with that the, the resistance yeah. right there okay so where would you uh if you if you are going to get back into this which you're up in the air about but if, say you would start doing this tomorrow, whatever, I'm running the run tomorrow, and say you saw something like this, whatever, how many shares would you have taken of the SVU in the second entry? How, how much do you think you're going to want to risk right now? On this one? Yes. Uh, yeah, so 
I'd probably enter around 17, 45, 49. And where would you put the stop? Yeah. And then I'll put the stop. Uh, yeah, I would put the stop <laughs> probably around um, 18, like 18, 05, 18, 10. And how many shares would you have taken? I'd probably take it just to make it. I'll probably take like a thousand bucks first. A thousand, a thousand shares. So you would have risked five hundred bucks, or roughly. Roughly, yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. Okay, so where would you have gotten out? Pretend you had done it. So I'd pro I usually do this. Okay, that would come down, and then uh, I'll probably take one quarter off, like right uh, low of the day area. <coughs> Here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right there, I'll probably take quarter off and then see how it goes. If it turns back, I'll, you know, get out. Um, but if it, I'll take some off right there around lower just to see if it will continue or, or bounce back. You so, know, okay, so, so you would get out of half here and the rest you would just follow it down until the next target or wherever. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so based on that, you were probably would have made how much do you think yesterday? If you shorted around seventeen fifty, got out around seventeen ten half. Like how much do you think you would have made? Uh, I would say around probably six hundred, seven hundred. Okay, is that good enough for you to be okay with? On, on the oh, day? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, uh, it's uh, even I took, um, I would take probably 1,000 shares just for my, for the, the <laughs> amount of risk I can handle. Um, <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, in the, in the future, I'm for sure, I could, I feel like, okay, this is, if I could do it with 1,000, I could probably do it the same as 5,000. That's how I feel like. 5,000 shares. Okay. You know? Right. But, but, you know, the problem is that you just got to get back to being positive, 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 and not trading on the days that you're not supposed to before you can take bigger risk. So, you know, that's what you have to kind of prove to yourself. When you started, yeah. when you started, do, when you started having the problems, was it because you were risking more or was it because you just were not trading the days that there wasn't good things? Uh, it was a combination of both, but mostly it was because of uh, <laughs> trading on the days that are not good. I mean, that, that was the main issue, really. Mm -hmm. um, but this kind of days, like after I see confirmation, for example, this one, I will probably do do it again in the afternoon. That's my problem. Do you think that's uh, something? Well, no, it's because not a problem but you have to be okay let's go look at it here tell me where you pretend you didn't know you saw this where would you have taken it where would you have put the stuff oh i'm sorry uh can you repeat it where would you have taken this afternoon trade where would you have put the stop how much how many shares would you have taken you're saying i would have done it that's not a problem and i'm going to tell you why even if it had stopped you tell me where would you have done this one here? So another thing that <laughs> I actually look at is um, the what's the blue line? Sorry, the, is that the? That's the a twenty. That's one here. So I usually uh, look at that one in the view up. Do you know view? Uh, I know you don't do that, but uh, that and also twenty minute twenty. Um, yeah, that one twenty minute average. So. I usually wait until the I get out right in the uh, you know hopefully in the bottom and um, it would usually rally back and then I'll see what it does after the twenty. So if it can keep going back, I'm not touching it. But usually that area it will struggle and return back. So that green bar I'll probably do it again right there. The, the after above the twenty. You know, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about here. This is the eight. Are you talking about in here? That one, and the second time that when you go to that one, I'll do this it one here. This one here. Oh, is that the? Give me a time of the day here that you would have looked at this. You have a green bar here at ten. Then you have one here at eleven. Then you have one here at eleven thirty. Then you have twelve fifteen and twelve yeah, forty-five. Yeah. So I'll enter twelve fifteen one the first time. Okay, around twelve twelve fifteen or so. Fine. 
where'd you put the stop? Put and how many stop shares would you have taken? Above the little bar. So I'll, I'll probably put a stop of around 17, uh, 455, something like that. Okay, where would you, how many shares would you have taken? I'll probably take around a thousand, okay? Okay, uh, and then, <clears throat> so you would have had about a $500 risk again in this. Then yeah. what? Where would you have gotten now? Yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll probably take half off on the on the low of the day right there. Okay. See where it ends up. And if I get more, yeah, right there, I'll get out half for sure. Um, and then I'll wait a little bit and take the other half off, you know, the second red bar. Yeah. Down in here, you mean? Yeah, right there. I'll wait, and then if it goes if it goes red for sure, I'll, take, I'll, <laughs> I'll you know I'll take all I'll I'll probably cover all the shorts, uh, you know, on the on the yeah on the two red bars right there around uh, one o'clock. Okay. Okay. All right. So how much do you think you would have made in this afternoon trade since it worked? How much do you think you would have made? Yeah, I think I'll say, yeah, probably seventeen hundred, seven hundred or. Around 700 again. Okay, what would have been your risk in this trade though? 500? 500, yeah. So say you had did the morning trade and made 700 bucks. Say you did the afternoon trade and it did work. You would have made a total on 1400 in the day, which is great. If it failed, you would have lost 500. Made 700 in the morning, you still would have been up for the day 200 bucks. Is that problematic for you? No, not at all, actually. Um, as long as, uh, yeah. Actually, that's not a no. As long as I'm consistent, that's the only thing. That's a, like I need, you know, more. Like these are the, I mean, this, for example, this kind of days on the SUV, it's easy. I feel like, it's, but. Uh, well, I it's easy now because it worked. You you didn't do it. So I mean, you, I could look at fifteen town as another thing. I mean, play was another one. Did you see the play on Monday? I think it was Monday. Did you see this one here? This was in craziness. Did you mm -hmm. see this one? I did not see this one. <laughs> this was even, this moved $5 on the day. Look at that. Ooh. And you could have done this one in the afternoon too. But the biggest move again was in the morning. Um, this mm -hmm. really didn't have a proper setup here even on this. But look at the move this had. Here, let's look at the one yeah. minute. Anyways, go ahead. So would you have been okay if you had only made 200? Yes or no? Yeah, I would, I, should, yeah, I would be okay. Yeah. So then what yeah. were you trying to make, though, about the consistency problem? Oh, I'm saying consistency of, like, um, uh, when there are not good things is what I'm saying. Like, when there are not quality gaps, I, like I said, I end up pushing it. You know what I'm saying? But so. why? Why, 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 why? I mean, I'm just trying to understand why. That's what I'm saying. See, I think the problem, my problem is just... One thing, I guess, um, just just one thing, uh, <laughs> being greedy. That's how I keep saying to myself. That's, that's not good enough. You have a job right now. You don't need trading money to pay your bills. You were way, way skyrocketed ahead. You did so great right out of the gate. That that just doesn't wash. I mean, you were. I met you. I met you face to face. You are not a greasy, greedy person. You're not. I mean, that's just like the most. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. I just don't. You are not a greedy person. You don't live high in the hog. You, uh, you know, you're, you're. The, I mean, you sat there with that book and asked me the questions. I mean, you're most one of the most conservative people I've ever met. By the way. Huh? I live in a studio apartment, by the way. <laughs> I know. I, that just even confirms it even more. You're, you're living in, you know, in the middle of America. I mean, that. Uh, oh, I think even way, if you I were walking around, Florida. huh? I have moved to, to Florida. Oh, already. nice. So that's nice. We're still on East Coast time, right? Yeah, which is unfortunate because I was hoping. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> if it wasn't the East Coast time, it would be perfect because I could do it before I go, you know, before. Oh, yeah, if you lived in a different place. Well, that, either way, Florida is a beautiful place. The point is, though, that you don't live high in the hog. So, I mean, so telling me you're greedy. I, I don't, I don't, that I just don't even believe it. I, there's something else going on with you. You feel like you're missing out if you don't take more. You're, you know, I mean, you're feeling like yeah, you got to make exactly. up for the lost days. You're feeling like you got to make up for the days where there's not good gaps. Like, what's going on in your head? Yeah. All those. <laughs>
I mean, you actually, I think you you just hit the the nail on the head. I mean, that's what they say, right? Mm-hmm, I mean, yeah. that, that's basically. I think um, just feel like I feel like I have to make up for the days I could lose or for the days that would not be available. So like this kind of days, even I probably push it too hard to saying, okay, yeah. this is so good. Um, I have to make as much as money today so that it, you know, like um, if there's not good tomorrow, then you know I can make it up. Things like that. So that. Also, it's another problem. So it's a lot of problems, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if you, if you, ha- I think that what I'm, what I'm, I'm feeling from you is just an overall lack of confidence in, in a yourself, which is crazy because you definitely have the ability to read charts, pick the gaps, rate the gaps, see the entries. You, you know, you did so well right out of the gate. You know, you can do well. You, you're lacking so much confidence in yourself right now because you went off the deep end. And you're also lacking confidence in the market. If you get up in the morning and the market doesn't give you anything tomorrow, <laughs> I say it in the room. I know we'll get a good one the next day. I know we'll get a good one tomorrow. I know we'll get a good one Monday or whatever. I always say that. You you know, you have to have more confidence in the market. It may not give you a good one every day. Some days may, may give you nothing. Some days it sucks and you have to take a loss. But overall, if you look at it as a bigger picture the whole year, have confidence the market will give you it. Because one day you will get up and you will take your normal risk and you will have something that falls off a planet. And you will just end up making a lot really quickly, like $2,000 or $3,000 with your normal $500 risk without having to risk more. And that will make up for the days that you didn't have to do anything. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and, and overall, you have to look at the bigger picture because if you don't stay focused, how are you ever going to risk more? Let's just say of the, you know, 200 plus trading days, let's say, you know, 40 of those days, there isn't anything good. You're still better off not trading than losing. And if you're making money, you know, more of the days, then eventually you can increase your risk, which is what you want to do anyways. But the point is you can't do that unless you prevent yourself from pushing it on the days when the things are not there because you're never going to get to that point where you can risk more. You have to move ahead. You have to sometimes moving ahead is, you know, take one step and wait and then take a second step and then wait a little bit and take a third step. Otherwise, you're taking 10 steps forward and then you're then you're taking five steps back. And then you take two steps forward and you're three steps back. That's more painful than just taking a step, continuing on with the same risk, not trading the days you don't. Then you take another step. You know what I mean? Then you risk a little bit more. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You have to know when to push it. I'm not, hey, trust me, listen, I know I push it some days. You know, it's rare that I push it some days when I shouldn't, but there are days when I push it too, but I can push it to the envelope and still somehow flip it around. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but I'm telling you, yeah. you there there are days to push it and there are days not to push it. Like, like there's people in the room sometimes that do things that they shouldn't do, over trade or do ads. The time to do ads or to push it or trade in the afternoon or be aggressive in the morning is when the gap is so great or it tells you right into the open it's so great or or you've got the market par trending with you or it opens and swooshes. I mean, there are certain times you can push it and you could risk more, but not every day. Like, did you do the option on Walmart? I think I gave that to the whole room. Yeah. I saw it, but I just, uh, yeah, I haven't been trading <laughs> lately, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I mean, here, I'm just going to give this example, even if you didn't do it. This was one to push it. As a day trade, as the option editing, this is a while ago. Oh, I might not be able to go back. Crap. I can't go back on the in, in the intraday. Um, <laughs> but anyways, this was a day to push it. Huh, go mm-hmm. ahead. What were we going to say? Oh, I was just saying, I remember when you called it, though. I, I didn't do it, but mm, unfortunately. Were you there in the room that day? I think I saw the e- email. I checked your email. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. this was a day to push it without going back and looking at the intraday. Stock was power trending. Everything was working in its favor. You know what I mean? Like, so there were so yeah. many, so many things right where you'd saw. I mean, it even went almost to the dream target, which was 100 on the day. So, I mean, there are times to push it, but it's not every day. And there are people in the room that do push it every day, and it's not the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I didn't look at anything this morning. What Did you look at anything this morning? Let's see. What was there today? 
<coughs> Did you look at any today? Yes, yeah, so today. Yeah, today actually. Um, what was it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see anything good. So I actually uh, was looking at SUV again for continuation. I mean, if I had yeah, done it, I was, I was gonna do continuation today actually. Yeah, that's fine. Anyways, you know, the I I get the, your over anxiousness on the days when there isn't things because I used to be there too. Like you know, many many years ago, early on as well, which is frustrating. But you'll never get to be able to increase your size if you don't not trade the days that you're not supposed to. And if it means you have to shut the platform down, leave the room, uh, go get involved with a work project, do something to distract you, leave the house, whatever, that you have to do that until you force yourself in the habit. Actually, I, w I was so bad with that that I would have to leave the house. I actually then would get in the habit of checking with my mom my broker like this is before the open before i had the business where i'd be like i really don't see anything good today but this one yeah. this one's okay it might work what should i do like that's really literally what would come out of my mouth every day and i'm like i really don't like this thin one i really don't think there's anything good today but this might work what should i do and time after time it, it was a it was a forced discipline of myself but i would check with people and the people would say melissa you know what to do and then some days I would listen to them and some days I wouldn't. And then when I wouldn't, I would always regret it. And then knowing that I knew the right thing to do, but didn't listen to myself. And then I got into a habit of leaving the house. I would leave the house and go to the gym. And once I started forcing myself to just leave and not look at anything, because you could talk yourself into anything. You could talk yourself into a 16 point rated gap and say, well, you know, there's nothing really good today, but this might work. Let me just look at it. Like even this right here, I would not have done this today. Does it look good? Yes. Was there any real good entry in here? I mean, let's look at it. Probably not. I don't see anything in the 15 minute. Let's look here in the 11. I mean, could you have shorted this today? Theoretically, yes. Would you have seen it here to do anything here in the morning? No, this looks like gobbledygook. What are you going to short here? Do you know what I mean? Like this doesn't look like yeah. anything to, I guess it fell, but it's a better swing trade. You know, if you had held it overnight from yesterday, an option trade. To day trade this, it looks like gobbledygook. Yeah. Theoretically, it's lower. Could you have made money on a day trade today? Yes. Might this have failed? Yes. So, you know, you gotta, you have to just learn how to be more focused on the quality and then holding yourself back when you don't see the quality. That's the benefit of being in the room where I really say, oh my gosh, this is good, or this is, there's really nothing here, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do something to get your confidence back or you're not going to be able to get in a good groove. And the only way I think you're going to get your confidence back is if you start trading again, even if it's smaller size, because you've just lost complete confidence in yourself and it's based on absolutely nothing other than the fact that you made mistakes. You know you made mistakes. It's just such a shame to see you quit when I know you can do so well and it's like either you want to do this or you don't and you have to ask yourself am i do i want to do this enough that i can get over these problems or am i just going to be a quitter mm -hmm. what do you want to do i mean so like you know the first you know first one i when you know when times were good i guess you could say i mean that time you know i was seriously thinking about wow you know this is great you know i could probably quit my job you know um all that things but when i when I think about it, where you know, as I get you know more and more into it, and then I start like you know not having consistency, I was like, wow. I mean, I start getting frustrated actually. I was saying, wow. So I can't quit. I can't quit it <laughs> because it's like I couldn't. I didn't have confidence in the market. Is what I get. I know, but I I'm couldn't... saying you got to get that back. Do you think that putting the pressure on yourself to quit your job so quickly was what maybe made you spin out of control? I think that's what it was because I felt like this was, you know, um, you know, I don't know, it's, a, it's very challenging because, <laughs> you know, it's a lot more money within, you know, I probably what, I probably work, you know, in the morning trades, you know, one hour and then I, I'm making more than, I'm making twice as much in, as I make from my, my, day, my day job, you know, more yeah. than twice. Okay. So, you know, it, so it makes you think, wow, well, you know, I can, Quit my dad. So like, I think that also has effect into my psychology. But if you want that to happen, then you have no choice other than to get your head wrapped around these issues. Know that this is yeah. really nothing to do with trading or nothing to do with the system, nothing to do with the market. 
It has to do with, you know, having your head on correctly about not pushing it, not trading days that you can, you know, you're, or that you shouldn't do it. I mean, the thing is that you've got to give yourself some time to get into, to build that confidence where you understand that you're okay with not trading. The support of having the job right now is that you don't have the pressure. Once you quit your job, then the pressure's on, not necessarily to make money every day, because again, there's some days there's nothing to do, but the pressure is on that you better have the right actions, yeah. that you can't yeah. afford to go off the deep end. Do you follow me? Yeah, yeah, you're right, because that's what is actually bothering me. Is like, <laughs> I already had in my mind I'm gonna quit at, at one point, but then I seen um, not consistency, and then I'm like, oh, that means I cannot quit. I know. I mean, I can't even think. Can't the market. But I can't think back at the time you're even talking about. Like it's 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 almost like it's, it was self created. I mean, I'd have to go back and look because I did the tracking for the year at the trades in September that you're even talking about or August. But I'm telling you, like that time the period doesn't come up in my mind as some earth shattering difficult period. I, I think it was self created in your own mind, and then once you went down that road, it's so easy. For, for people to start thinking negative. I mean, I know, I totally get it. So one thing happens and it snowballs, but it's, you know, you have to get back into a positive mindset. And, and the thing mm -hmm. is, what is that going to take? If, if that yeah. means you just say to yourself, you know what? I'm not gonna quit my job at all in 2018. I'm gonna trade full time every day with Melissa. I paid for the room and I'm gonna work at my job and then just leave it. Don't put the pressure on yourself and lo and behold, you know, in six months or nine months or towards the end of the year, you can say, you know what? I feel so great about this. I'm so comfortable. I'm in such a groove. And then you can quit. Like, don't put the pressure on yourself thinking you're going to quit next week. Maybe that's what you could not handle last time. And maybe that's what you still can't handle now. But it would just means then you have more money. You work your job, you do this, and you have more money. And then you have a nice big cushion that when you are ready to leave, then yeah. you maybe then you'll feel more confident in not pushing it the days because you because you can afford to yeah yeah that's what i i thought this i'm gonna see this one trading <laughs> is just as extra income you know if i get if i make money good if not fine too you know um but you will if you if you do everything that you know <laughs> yeah yeah i think you're right so so i think one other thing i want to so ask you is, yeah. um, I I found out that more comfortable was like you said a later kind of trades like you know nine forty five and after, you know what I'm trying to say? Yes. Like, Wait, I want to tell you. I want to tell you one thing before here. Look at this chart of SVU right now. Do you see anything mm -hmm. setting up in this right now? Before you right say what you want now, to say. Oh, this is today, right? Is that right? Yeah, this is today. Yeah, right now, um, absolutely, absolutely. Actually, I'll probably it's too late. I would say, um, but uh, you see the the green, the big green book bars around. Uh, yeah, around ten thirty. Is that right? No, no. It'll, uh, what time is it? These in here on the one minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the fifteen minute. Yeah, this was yesterday into the close, rallied oh, that's, up. That's okay, okay. Yeah. So, when is the open today? <laughs> Sorry, on the 15 That's minute. okay. The open today on the 15 minute is here. High oh, is right 1713. There. But I just want you to look at this daily chart oh, here. Oh. This is yeah. a good later play. If this breaks the low of the day from yesterday, the stock could collapse. Where's it going to go? This could happen. You see here what's... And I didn't do it yet. It didn't do it yet, but yeah. this is something you could watch. You could watch, say, watch, watch I this. Said this is too late now. I mean, I wouldn't do this. Uh, earlier in this morning, I was looking at it. If you could go back to the five minute chart. Here? Yeah, so the five minute chart, uh, that's the open. Yeah, actually, this is setting up really nice in the five minute here. You could have done this right in here. Boom, stop over this area here and see if it breaks. If it doesn't, you get out, but it could. And it could. If this breaks today, it could have a yep. big drop. Do you see this yep. here? This is like, ooh. Yep, exactly. It's struggling at the low of the day, yeah. I'll probably do it, and then with a stop above, you know, 16, 60, around 16, 60. Yeah, I would give it a little bit more room because it's later. Yeah, I would give it a little cushion here. All right, that's fine. I just want to go in there. Go ahead, say what you were going to say then. Yeah, so these are the kind of trades I'm comfortable with. Yeah, that's I fine. Um, I, I mean, I, absolutely, this, this has, I can see it's, you know, it's kind of 
slow and then it's tight top as well. Yes, this is not as whippy as yesterday. Yeah, and uh, it, it's not wild. You know, those are, I think, um, <laughs> kind of tricky. So I think what I want to ask you is like uh, setups, like this kind of setups. Do you think it's, uh, I know like you have, I think you're, you're so there's one on 15 minute entry on le for letter play. Yeah, right? yeah. And then you have uh, three entries in the morning. So you think, uh, uh, which which straight setups? Like, do you think just uh, enter with a in, in you know five minutes with uh, as a sales setup and a, and a sales setup? Or? What are you asking me? What later play should you do, or what are you asking me? What trading? Well, what trade setup should I do? Uh, I think you should do the morning trades. If you're not comfortable with the first entry, do the secondary entry if it has one. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. If you need the confirmation, wait yeah. for the secondary entry in the morning. That might be early enough for you to still capture a big part of the morning move and it's not as aggressive. And if the first entry is all the move it gets and the stock flips and goes over the high and it's done for the morning, then you just don't do anything that day. Are you going to be okay with that? I don't know. If you are, you aren't, because it may not have a second entry and then you don't do anything that day. But if you want to do a later play in the afternoon, you can. Whether or not that's your first, first play of the day, you have to be extremely patient. You will get them. I would make a watch list of continuation gaps to follow through to watch them for things like this or even play or whatever for the second day down to see if they follow through. But the entries are not going to be as tight and the moves on the secondary days usually are not as big as the first days if you do that and you still have to wait for the later time frames of the five or the 15 minute. The real confirmation really, if you're waiting for that, is on the 15 minute, not the five. And the stops are gonna be big. This kind of thing here is a dream when it happens. You do not get this every day, you don't get this every week. This was a really tight stop for something like that to have that move in the afternoon and you don't get them all the time. So my, my thing is, if you really wanna play late trades on the 15 minute, you're just not gonna get them five days a week. I don't even know if you get them three. You're gonna get them sometimes, but you're gonna be mm -hmm. trading less days. If you're okay mm -hmm. with that, then fine. It's still the same concept. It's still the gap. You're still playing the gap that rates well. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, I think I think I I, I am more comfortable with that one. One thing I understand is just looking at um, if it the for later trades. The reason I'm saying that is I want like having the confirmation makes me more comfortable. Like if I see in the morning a sell off like this big red bars like on the <laughs> yesterday. You know the two 15 minutes bars and on um, yesterday yeah that gives me that the stock is like, absolutely weak i don't i'm pretty sure confident feel confident nobody's gonna buy this so i don't have a problem entering with this kind of uh you're talking about yesterday in here yeah yeah, yeah i think that's great you could look for those every day starting you know between 10 and 11 10 and 12 watch yep. things scan them watch i'm just telling you, you're not gonna get them every day but you could certainly do that but don't get away from the fact that you're looking for gaps what i do what i don't want to see you do is scan this jiggy here for everything that's trading down in the day and start doing 15 minute setups and everything that's down on the day because it may not be a gap the reason you get those bigger moves like that with the nice setups and the confirmation is the gap still the strategy still the yep. gap whether you enter in the five the 15 minute the one minute with me the, the strategy has to be the gap. Don't start looking at things like, let's just look at Kodak right now because it's showing that it's down. I bet that's just falling because of the sell-off that had this week, but let's just look at this here really quickly. I don't know if it's gapped or not, but let's look. Oh, it did gap. <laughs> this did gap, actually. Um, let's look at let's look at, uh, let's look at something else. Let me just see. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Still make sure yeah, that I'll you're following yeah. the gap. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else here. Uh, let's look at Arna. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anyways, what do you what do you want to know? You here, this didn't gap. Here, this is a good example. This stock did not gap today, but it's falling. If you'd be looking for a fifteen minute setup in this in the afternoon, you wouldn't be playing any gap. If the stock's falling, it's red. It probably holds the red on the day, but you're not going to get the same kind of perfect setup and the same confirmation and anything because this did not gap it just opened and fell and it's falling that's true but this you don't don't do something like this still look for the gap that happened initially in the morning that worked mm -hmm. and then you do the later play if you want to 
I don't know if you're asking me if you should start to trade every day later or not. I don't know. That's that's something that you have to, if that's going to help you get back into the groove of it, fine, do whatever. I mean, if that's what you really need out of life in order to feel better about trading, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, if that's what you need to ease yourself back into it, fine. But I don't think there's anything wrong with doing the morning as a secondary setup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of a workaround for my <laughs> lack of discipline, I guess. And then, um, I mean, so in the morning, I think if I'm with you, I think morning I'll be okay too because, you know, you have the discipline to say, oh, this is not quality, you know, I'm not going to do this, or, or you know, the exact entry. It's just too fast for me, I feel like, in the morning. Too. I know, but that's okay. I mean, honestly, honestly, it is for a lot of people. It is for people that have been with me for a long time, but that's why you're there with me. And that's why mm. I'm so good at doing it. It's just instinct. It's just instinct anymore for me. I, I, I mean, I'm... I don't think there's anybody as fast as me to see those things the way they set up. I mean, even looking at SVU, like I said, I didn't do that. And I could see right away, boom, that was a late open. I see what happened there. And in live time, you know, I wasn't there. But that's the kind of stuff that I see. I mean, that's why you're there with me. You don't have to ever leave the room if you don't want to. You could stay with me forever. But I mean, I, I tell you, you know, or for long as I'm doing this, but I, I mean, the bottom line is that you got to get your confidence back. And I, I mean, I can just hear your voice, like you just sound so depleted. You have to find the passion again for what you do and you, you, you rationalize it out for me, the money you can make versus the, the job that you have now, it's like a no brainer and the time that you're doing it, you've, you've, you've got to, to stop putting so much pressure on yourself and stop like just criticizing yourself, saying that you're not disciplined. like. You're just being so critical, critical, critical of yourself. You got to go back and give yourself credit for how much you've learned since before you met me and how well you did right at the beginning. Yeah, actually, I want to ask you. I mean, I've been trading really like a year and a half now. Yeah. Um, do you think <coughs> I still I'm not seeing like, um, I mean, I see consistency, let's say for two months and then then I go back, you know, like I think, you know, <laughs> I think well, it, was, it was right after the class, though. When did you do the class? I did in June, I believe. And then June. how did you do in June, July, before you started going off the deep end? Right after the class was when you did well. Forget before you met me. Right after the class, you did well, right? Yeah, absolutely. Ju uh, July was a, you know, case. I mean, but, I mean, I did well, but um, <laughs> June and July was, uh, I mean, I didn't make a ton of money, but I didn't lose anything either, you know? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, uh, No, I don't. I what are you it? trying to say? <laughs> huh? Huh? No, I don't know what you're trying to say. So what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that uh, since, I mean, like, since just after class, I was doing well is what I'm saying. June, yes. And... July and August. Like, okay. Amazing. I mean, I was making, like I say, what I make in the, from my day job, uh, I, in the months, I was making it in a, in a week is what I'm saying. You know, so it was a, right. it was a huge uh, kind of shock, actually. I was like, wow, I can, it's possible to do this. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, I, I just... But you, you know, got to go a, back there. You got to go back yeah. there in your mind. You have to go back to that place in your mind again. You see how your mind plays tricks on you. So, yeah, the, that's, you know, you it can be a loser as much as you can be a winner. Like a real, huh? you know? mm -hmm. What'd you say? I was just saying, it almost doesn't feel like real. Uh, I say. What doesn't feel real? <laughs> well, I mean, like um, the profit. It's a, uh, you know, it's just. Did you ever take any money out and spend it that you made in that period? A little bit, not not a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe next time you make that much, which you will again, I'm sure you get back into doing this and back in the room. Maybe you take out. You take out some of the money and you and you make it real for yourself. Take out some of the money, make it real for yourself, buy yourself something. I know you're conservative and you don't do high in the hog, but what is something you like, go buy it. Take the money mm -hmm. out, make it real for yourself so you feel like it's real. Because sometimes when you let it sit in the account like that and you never take money out, and it's great to grow your account and I'm all for that too. But if you right. if it feels like Miss Pac-Man and you're playing a video game and it never feels real for you when you have the profits, 
you know, a lot of people are like that with this Bitcoin now. You know, I mean, there's people that were up in that and didn't get out and it was never real and they lost. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you at some yeah. point you have to cash out and cashing out sometimes is not just getting out of the profit in the day trade. But, you know, it's also benefiting from the money that you're making. And since you have not quit your job yet and you could just let it all ride in there and grow up that's fine but if you are having mental difficulties with it not being real then you need to take it out you need to buy something i don't then just i don't think there's anything wrong with that spend it so you feel like you have something more than what you had before and you're paying yourself and rewarding yourself for the hard work right wow yeah i didn't think about it <laughs> i mean if yeah, that I, money I... never felt real to you i mean there's an easy way to fix that <laughs> you know right right interesting okay yeah all right um i mean i i i i i, I want to see you do well i know that you can you know it's i was shocked shocked when i got your email i just was i mean of all the people that i would thought i mean was not doing well <laughs> i was just fell off my chair with shock because of how well you did and how new how well you were doing and you know what I there's just so many people in the room I can't look every day who's there and who's not and I didn't realize you hadn't been there for the last few months and you should have reached out to me as soon as you had the problems you should have reached out to me I have no idea why you didn't reach out to me as soon as you started having problems you should have reached out to me yeah I, yeah thanks a lot um, Melissa yeah it's just I think I, like the main problem was you know of course Last four months, I couldn't trade in on the morning, so um, I didn't get a time to actually recover <laughs> all the, I guess, uh, confidence and everything back. Uh, I know, but you know, maybe you need to read some books right now on the side. You need to do as many possible things as you can, not just get back in the room and trade. You need to do other things to help your confidence level because you just seem, you're such an upbeat, outgoing person, and I can hear it in your voice even now, Just you just you just sound exhausted. You just sound like tired of the whole thing and you've got to get your mojo back mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah thanks a lot melissa i think yeah um yeah i think i think i will uh, you know start trading i mean um come to the trading room at least even if i don't trade you know maybe i'll you have to yeah you've got to. Hmm? you've got to i mean how you have to see things and, you know, you, I'll be very aware of the fact that now you like the later trades because sometimes I call them, sometimes I don't because obviously I like the first one. But I will be very aware and maybe this is even something I should bring up in the room. Maybe I should even bring up in the room tomorrow. You know, I'm sure there's other people like you who missed the first trade. It happened so fast. You know, maybe I need to do a better job of calling the secondary entries. Yeah, so, but actually, like, uh, I don't, like I said, I don't have a problem with, like, morning trades when I'm with you like that's one thing I learned is um, when I'm you know I'm following you and then you're everything else um you know I don't have a problem but when I do myself is a problem <laughs> well I mean you don't have to that's what I'm saying take the pressure off yourself you paid for the room I'm not going anywhere so I mean like there's there's people in the room that have been in there that did the class years ago they do not need to be there they do not need to be there they just like the fact that I say blah 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 stock is a good one they already liked it before I said it it makes them feel better about taking the trade and I'm good with the entries there's nothing wrong with being there for the support system of me just to help even if it's nothing other than your confidence even though you know all the information, if it helps your confidence, that's good enough. Whatever it takes for you to do it is whatever it takes. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, Melissa, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I know that you can do this. Don't give up. I will see you back in the room. If you can get back in the room tomorrow, try to be there tomorrow. Earning season does start in the next week. You, you know, this is a time that you could trade. If you're not comfortable, watch track everything look at the uh you know the entries that you would have done track how much money you would have made and don't just don't even think about quitting your job right now you take the pressure off yourself and just go with the flow of the trading and your job mm -hmm. right okay okay so thanks a lot i really appreciate that mm -hmm. you're welcome abel and we'll do another session we have another session i think we have to do and we'll uh, let's wait until after you start trading yeah exactly um yeah, for a while I'll, I'll probably I'll be in the room, but I'll just be. Um, That's okay. You know, 
That's Seeing fine. the face, you guys do and stuff like that. That's fine. You need you need to work on your confidence and and and, and whatever that's going to take. You need to think about that today, okay? Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, talk have to you a soon. good day too. You're welcome. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.